my goodness. It is already one o'clock. It has been such a busy day today. I need to eat a little bit of lunch. LOL, I look like I'm on my way to tennis. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, not, not doing any tennis today. Having some of my kale detox salad. Recently showed you exactly how I make this updated version in a vlog. I feel like I have been outputting so much the last couple of weeks as far as creating content for my Instagram, TikTok, podcast, my program. And I've just been showing up in so many different areas and I've honestly felt so inspired to do that, but I definitely am hitting a wall. More on that later. Oh my gosh, I forgot the seaweed. I'm gonna eat my lunch in a moment, but speaking of seaweed, guess who's sponsoring today's video? I feel like I manifested this because I was just talking about them in one or two videos ago. Osea, one of my favorite non-toxic skincare brands that has the most beautiful vegan and cruelty-free seaweed infused products. I've used Osea for years, probably going on six years at this point. <laughs> And lately I've been on a major seaweed kick. I'm eating seaweed and I'm putting seaweed on my body. In addition to being in my seaweed era, I've also been in my self-care era. And part of that has been taking care of my skin, my hair, what I'm eating, how I'm feeling. We're gonna get into that a little bit later, but I've been focusing on switching up my routine a little bit just because it's winter and I'm extra, extra, extra dry. If you watch my videos frequently, then you know I am a huge fan of the Osea Undaria body oil. It is like one of my favorite products ever, ever, ever. However, I've been feeling like I need a little bit thicker moisturizer because my skin feels like it is shriveling up like a raisin in the sun. And I ran out of my Osea Undaria body oil and I quite literally just replenished it because I was like, why is my skin so dry? I need my body butter. This stuff is incredible. If you like the body oil, then you're gonna love the body butter. It has the most amazing smell. It truly smells like summertime, which just brings me so much joy. And it's clinically proven to hydrate for 72 hours. I will share some more about this product a little later once we use it, but I wanted to just like briefly chat up to you about it now. I also, this is a brand new for me product, Salt of the Earth Body Scrub by Osea. I feel like because my skin is is extra dry right now, I need to exfoliate before I moisturize. I also had a little self tan mishap. <laughs> I get really messed up my hands. And yeah, we're just gonna have a full body scrub down followed by a lush moisturizing session this evening. More on these later. In the meantime, Osea has been kind enough to extend a discount code for you for 10% off and I'm gonna pop it here on the screen. I've also left a link to shop down in the description box. I'm gonna warn you now, once you try one product from Osea, you're gonna fall in love. I'm literally obsessed and I've gotten so many DMs from you guys telling me that you are now hooked on Osea too. And you know what? If you're gonna get hooked on something, this is the thing to get hooked on because it's just good for your body skincare. Non-toxic, vegan, cruelty-free, clean ingredients, hydrating, moisturizing, just straight TLC for your body. So again, I'm gonna leave the link to shop and code down in the description box. Thank you to Osea for sponsoring today's video. I'm very excited to be working with them again. I just do think it's so funny that I was truly just talking about them in my last video. And here we are. This is one of those moments where I'm like, manifestation is real. You put the vibe out, you get what you put out. And I definitely put the vibe out. I just love Osea. Okay, I'm gonna eat my lunch and then we'll chat after. I just decided I'm gonna go get my nails done. It's been a minute, they're ready to be done and I need to fill up my cup. I'm gonna bring my book with me. I'm gonna bring a little pineapple kombucha, got my grocery bags so we can stop by the grocery store after. I have been working since early this morning and I have to just hit the reset button. I know I said I wanted to chat to you about energy and filling up your cup and outputting and finding balance, which we will do, but we'll do that later because they have an availability at my nail salon. And I feel like that's just a sign. So let's go. Funny story. I haven't gotten my nails done. I got all the way over there and she was like, I been five o'clock, not two o'clock. I was like, oh. <laughs> Okay, it is what it is. I mean, a little bit annoying, but you know, it happens. 
so it's okay. But we'll go back at five. Luckily, I had a couple of errands that I needed to run and I had like an Amazon return to make. So I went and did that and ran my errands, went to the grocery store and picked up a few things and we'll just go back at five o'clock. That's okay. It does throw off my day a little bit, but it's okay. We're going with the flow. At Whole Foods, I've got stuff to make another batch of my kale and pot salad, which you already know everything that that entails. So I won't bore you with that again. Bananas, bonza pasta, and this vegan vodka style pasta sauce that sounded really good. I think I've actually had this before. It's just been a while. Got some celery so I can make celery juice in the morning. And I also got the ingredients to make my vegan lentil loaf that I have not made in such a long time. And that sounds super yummy. Have to be back at the salon in an hour. I still need to finish up work but i also don't want to eat too late tonight and i feel like that could possibly happen given the time of my nail appointment so i think maybe we prep dinner now so that i can pop it in the oven when i get home because i do want to do self-care tonight let's see if i can do it all also the recipe for my vegan lentil loaf is up on my blog which i will link below or you can just google shayla quinn lentil loaf and it should pop up i'm not gonna like give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on this. Since I'm a little short on time, sorry. Probably easier if you follow a recipe anyway. That looks dangerous, but I'm gonna leave it. Okay, we're gonna have to continue this after my appointment because it's time to go. Everything is turned off and ready to go. We'll just combine everything when we come back. What a messy day. These are my real nails. All natural. Look how long they are. <laughs> Can't believe it. They look so nice, I'm gonna chop them off now. <laughs> oh my gosh, my hand tan is so embarrassing, but yay, I love the color I got. One coat of Funny Buddy and two coats of Bubble Blast. You know what time it is. If you know, you know. Time to put this lentil loaf together and I'm also gonna make some crispy smashed potatoes. I will link the recipe that I'm using down below. It's not my recipe. I just found it online. Okay, yum. First time that I've tried this flavor from LaCroix. It is so good. Wow. Although I'm like, does it really taste that good or is it just because I put it in a wine glass? I don't know. Dinner's in the oven. It smells so good in here, but it is a little toasty in here. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> With the oven on, I'm like, woo, it's, it's warm. It is time for self-care and to put my pajamas on. We are beginning our self-care with the body scrub from Osea that I told you about earlier, Salts of the Earth body scrub. This will be my first time using this body scrub, so obviously I will report back after my shower, but I'm particularly excited about this scrub because from what I've read, it's not only going to exfoliate, but it's also going to nourish and hydrate. It's made with mineral rich salts to kind of buff away the dead skin, and then it has seaweed in it to nourish your skin, and then it's also made with shea butter, which is going to moisturize your skin. So for someone like me that has sensitive skin, I feel like this is going to be good for me because sometimes I notice that exfoliants just leave me feeling damaged and raw. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but it's just like too harsh on my skin. So I'm very excited to use this. It smells lovely. And I also love the color. So updates to come on the scrub. I'm sure I'm going to love it just like I love everything else from Osea. Let's find out. And then of course, post shower, I am going to lather my body in the Undaria Algae Body Butter. It's super nutrient rich, again, made with seaweed, whipped shea butter and ceramides. It's ultra hydrating and nourishing and it smells, oh, so good. I'm so excited about it. Also, how cute are my new little pink PJs? All of this is linked below. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna come right out and say it. The scrub and the body butter are a power couple. My skin feels so, so soft. Oh my gosh. 
Dynamic duo. Yes, yes, yes. This is what I needed. Very happy with that. Popping my coat on the screen again for you because you need this. Although you know what's interesting is that my skin doesn't feel dry like it does sometimes when I get out of the shower. And I think it's because of that scrub, which we love. Look how gorgeous and thick that is. Also, even though I'm like not doing anything that far out of my routine, I still feel like between the body butter and the scrub particularly, I just like up leveled my regular evening routine, which is so nice. vlog it because I woke up this morning feeling a little bit anxious and just needed some good old-fashioned me time. Feeling a lot better now after practicing and finding stillness. But fitting in a little me time this morning is necessary. It is a hair washing day for me, so I'm just gonna oil my hair for today and then I'll wash it tonight. All of this is linked on my Amazon storefront, by the way, everything I'm using for my hair. I have like a whole list called hair. Just felt like this morning I needed to get my hair feeling nice and moisturized. Speaking of moisturized, I do have to say I woke up this morning and my skin felt so good still from moisturizing last night. That Osea body scrub and body butter is like an actual power couple for winter. Or if you have dry skin like me, good for all seasons. <laughs> I do need to like put makeup on shortly because I have a call with a brand that I want to look semi-presentable for. But I think a slicked back bun will be fine. And I'll do a little face mask before. I honestly was just going to make this a day in the life vlog and just vlog yesterday, but the day felt really chaotic and disjointed and not very exciting to vlog. And I didn't get to chat to you about hitting a wall energetically and all that stuff, which I really wanted to share with you. So I figured I would just carry the vlog into today a little bit. Oh my goodness. Putting on a cold sheet mask in the morning just hits different. I know it's really scary, but just let me live, okay? This is what needs to happen this morning. Wow, honestly, I feel like I look a little disturbing right now, <laughs> but this is a great example that looks can be deceiving because it looks scary, but it feels heavenly. Little ice roller on a chilled face mask is an actual game changer. And my matcha latte, my special little mug my mom got me. I'm very happy right now. I just wanted to take a moment to chat to you about balance because I feel like a lot of us struggle with balance, myself included. I am very much an all or nothing kind of person. I don't half-ass things and I'm quite literally either all in or I'm all out. And this can be good in some regards, but it can also be really challenging when I'm trying to implement balance. And balance is something that I personally really have to work at because I am an all or nothing person. The other side of the coin is my work is really dependent on my level of creativity and inspiration, both of which cannot be forced. So when you feel inspired and you feel super creative, you wanna take advantage of that. That can be with any job too, not just being a full-time content creator, but when you feel really effortlessly motivated and creative and inspired to work on whatever you're working on, you gotta strike while the iron's hot and take advantage of it because that doesn't always happen. However, because I am an all or nothing person, I end up getting these waves of like crazy motivation and inspiration, which is amazing. And I'm super excited about everything that I'm doing, but I can really easily just like let my own needs go to the wayside because I get really into whatever I'm doing, you know? And I'm like, oh, I'll do that later. Or, oh, I'll eat later. Or, oh, I'll go to bed a little later. And there's definitely been other times in my life where I've been way, way, way far away from my wellness practices than I have been lately. But I just feel like I'm, I don't know. 
feel like I've been struggling with balance a little bit. It's like I started out really, really strong in January, felt really good. And then I just feel like this last week, I haven't been doing a great job of showing up for myself in the ways that I need. And all of this to say, balance is not something that's just like found. It's something that's created. And I think it can come easier for some people than it can for others. And if you're like me, you really have to make an intentional effort to cultivate balance. The other thing is too, like you can't pour from an empty cup. We're not made to just give, 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 produce, 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 show up, show up, show up, pour, 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 24 seven. You have to cultivate that balance. You have to fill up your own cup. Otherwise, you're gonna get to a point that I tend to reach quite often, which is the point of burnout. And I honestly don't even realize until I get there that I'm like, uh-oh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to cultivate balance and now I am on complete empty. So anyway, why am I saying all this? Well, because this is your PSA to take time for yourself often. Self-care is not selfish. It is necessary. At the end of the day, we are human beings, not human doings. And you have to find a give and take between giving and doing and being. Otherwise, you're going to burn out and then you're of no use to anyone. That that goes for whether that's the workplace or if you're a full-time mom or for your partner or for anything that you're required to show up for in your life. This is a lesson that I have to learn over and over and over again. You know what? That's okay. I'm not burnt out today, which is great, but I'm recognizing that things are feeling a little energetically sticky for me. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's because I've been just going too hard on the pouring out and not enough filling up my cup. That's all I wanted to say. I was really feeling that yesterday and obviously still feeling that a bit this morning, but we are taking action and implementing some balance. Just got off my brand call and decided that I was gonna try to meal prep my salad quickly and have a little bit of lunch. Also, I'm adding shaved carrot to my salad today. But you know what I was just thinking about during that call randomly is that when it comes to balance, your wellness practices, when you feel like you're juggling a bunch of different things, just do your best, you know, just do your best. Do your best to stay in the moment. Do your best to check in with yourself. Just do your best. If you don't get to it all in the time that you wanted to or planned to, it's okay. But I think the most important thing is to try to prioritize feeling good as often as possible because life goes by quickly. And I just know that stressing and working yourself to the point of burnout it's not worth it. And just know that I'm like saying it for myself just as much as I'm saying it for you. I'm like in it as well, you know, trying to cultivate balance and do my best and do all the things that I want to do. But I know I'm a little rambly today, but I just think it's so important to remember that like nothing else matters if you don't have your health physical health or your mental health, you know? And if you're getting pushed to the point of burnout or you're rushing or you're not feeling well or you're feeling tired or you're feeling stressed, it's just like, I don't know that it's worth it. Whatever it is that you're putting above the things that you need to do. And additionally, you can't even enjoy it if you're just kind of like all over the place energetically. So those are my thoughts today. <laughs> just uh working through it with you definitely gonna take some time later to journal out some things that i can schedule in and make time for that is really putting myself in the energy of surrender and receiving versus just doing at least one podcast episode about this and in the podcast episode i'm more so speaking about that in terms of manifestation but it also is just a good life hack <laughs> you know because it's really a matter of cultivating balance that delicate dance between push and pull, effort and surrender, doing and being. Anyway, I'm gonna make my salad, make some celery juice, and then I have a podcast episode that I'm gonna record and edit. So I'm gonna say goodbye to you now and end this vlog here so that I can focus on what I need to get done today and leave myself enough time to journal and reconnect with myself so I can figure out a better, more balanced plan moving forward. I think when we hit these moments, or these energetic walls, we can sometimes look at them like something negative, but I prefer to look at it like a learning opportunity. I'm gaining more intel every time I make a misstep or I don't show up for practices or I forget to do something or neglect myself. These moments of realization are great because it just 
reaffirms what you need, what feels good, and how you wanna move forward. So I hope that this inspires you to do a little self-check-in if any of this resonates with you. Also, huge thank you again to Osea for partnering with me on this video. I'm going to pop my discount code on the screen. And again, the link to shop is down below. If you wanna support me and support Osea, who we love so much, use the code and enjoy. I hope you have a wonderful balanced week. I love you. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in my next video.